For this question, we want to solve the problem using calculus techniques. We want to find two positive numbers whose product is 144 and whose sum is minimum. So I'm going to allow the, the numbers to be x and y. So using the first sentence, these numbers' product needs to be 144. Product is multiplication, so x times y is 144. And we want the sum to be minimum. So the sum of these numbers will be x plus y. And we want to find the minimum value. So I'm going to use my calculus techniques on the sum equation. However, at the moment, there are too many variables in the equation. So I want to use this other information about the product of the numbers being 144 to reduce the number of variables in the original equation. So we can solve for either x or y. x is equal excuse me, x times y is equal to 144. I can divide both sides by x, and that gives me y equals 144 over x. Then I can substitute that value into the equation that represents sum. Sum is x plus y, and since y is 144 over x, I get that the sum is x plus 144 over x. So now I've reduced the number of variables in the equation that represents sum. And I'm going to rewrite it so it'll be easier to do the derivative on. So bringing that x to the numerator puts a negative on the exponent, and I have x plus 144x to the negative 1. So now I'll be able to do my calculus techniques. Calculus techniques for finding a minimum value. So I'm going to find the derivative. The derivative of x is 1. I'll carry down the constant multiple of 144 and calculate the derivative using the power rule on x to the negative 1. That's negative 1 x to the negative 2. I have the derivative being 1 plus, we'll make that a minus, 1 minus 144 x to the negative 2. And we want to find our critical numbers. Critical numbers are where the derivative is equal to 0 or undefined. So I'm going to solve this equation by adding 144x to the negative 2 on both sides. That's 144x to the negative 2 equals 1. This is the same thing as 144 over x squared equals 1. I can multiply by x squared on both sides. And this leaves me with 144 equals x squared. And square root both sides. And that gives me x equals plus and minus 12. As we read the, the problem again, I just want to take notice of one spot right here. It says find two positive numbers. So we've got x equals plus and, plus and minus 12. The negative 12 will not be the solution here, so we're only going to focus on x equals um, positive 12. So then I need to see if this x equals 12 is a minimum value. To do that, I'm going to use the second derivative test. So I've got my first derivative. And I'll calculate the second derivative. That's going to be a negative 
144. That constant multiple gets carried down. And then I'll calculate the derivative on x to the negative 2. Using the power rule, that's negative 2 x to the negative 3. And if we simplify that, that would be 144 times 2. It's 288. So that's a positive 288. x to the negative 3. And if I substitute a value of 12 into the second derivative, that's 288 times 12 to the negative 3. That's a positive times a positive, which is a positive. So our second derivative is positive. Second derivative being positive tells me concave up. And that coupled with this uh, value of 12 being a critical number means that the derivative is equal to 0. The slope of the tangent line is 0. So that means that we have a horizontal tangent line at that point, And that is a minimum value. So x equals 12 will give us a minimum. And we can find the value of y. Because y is 144 over x. One forty four over twelve is twelve. So we've got two positive numbers, twelve and twelve, whose product is one forty four. and whose sum is minimum. For this question, it says all of the edges of a cube are expanding at a rate of three inches per second. How fast is the volume changing when each edge is five inches? Use V equals S cubed, that's the volume equals the sides cubed, for the volume of a cube. Write answers in the first blank and the units in the other blank. So we want the rate of change of volume in this blank, the units in this blank. So we'll be sure to pay attention to the units as we solve this problem. If we think about the given information in this problem, the edges of a cube are expanding at a rate of three inches per second. So our given information is a rate of change. And this is the rate that the edge of the cube, or S, is expanding or changing. So this refers to ds dt. The rate is a derivative. That's three inches per second. And it says, how fast is the volume changing? The volume changing is dv dt, and that's our unknown in this question. And how fast is that volume changing when each edge is five inches? So that's one side of the cube being five inches. So we're interested in that moment where the side is five inches. So we're given rates of change and we're solving for rates of change. So we need an equation that relates those rates of change. We have an equation that represents volume, but this equation does not have rates of change. So in order to introduce the rates of change, we're going to take the derivative with respect to time on the left and the derivative with respect to time on the right. And that gives me dv 
dt on the left, and on the right, I need to calculate the derivative of s cubed. That's 3s squared. And because the variables don't match, I need to chain by multiplying by the derivative of s. That's ds dt. ds dt is um, s is the side of the cube. So if we draw a picture of the cube, s is each side or edge of the cube. So ds dt is the rate that the side is changing or the edge same thing as the edge so the edge is the side and so to the cube all the sides are the same so we have this information about the side being five inches and we also have the rate that the side is changing so we have these two values to substitute in, and that will give us what we were looking for, which is the rate that the volume is changing. So dv dt is three times five, and I said I was gonna follow the units here, so let me do that. So this is five inches squared, and ds dt, that is three inches per second. And so I have dv dt equaling three times 25 inches squared times three inches per second. So dv dt is 3 times 3, which is 9, times 25, let's see, 25 times 9, 225, so 225. And if I follow the units, I now have inches squared times inches, which is inches cubed per second. So the rate of change of the volume is 225, and the units are inches cubed per second, which makes sense for a volume since volume is three-dimensional. So we have the rate of change of the volume being 225 inches cubed per second. Thank you for checking out my videos. Have a great day.